Right now, I think uh, in the United States, we have a critical issue with the cost of health care. We have superb health care available for some of our people, but not for all of our people. Other parts of the world, health care is not available for most people. And so it's a matter of providing what we know. We'd like to advance the understanding of treatment of disease, but if we could do a better job of providing it, this would, I think, be our first priority. This summit will not end the problems in world health, but I think it will empower the workers by hearing each other's presentations and, very importantly, activating the young people. There are half of the people in my lecture today were young people. Many of them came up. They, they felt this gratifies them that, in fact, they're making an important commitment to a, a non-lucrative medical specialty to prevent disease, particularly in third world. So I think this will renew the energies, and there will be a fifth and a sixth and a seventh World Health Summit, each one being very important, though. This is very important work. You know, connecting people, it's sort of a, a scientific effort that began long before Facebook, this network of scientific colleagues. And we consider the colleagues, in addition, in other countries, it's enormous. And we make friends and open doors through science. We have a very special opportunity. The World Health Summit is a wonderful reunion of people doing very important and very special work. And they're gaining momentum. It's not getting worse, it's getting better, the attention to this important activity. It's long overdue, but we live in the present.